Welcome to St. Andrew's Daily Prayer for March 22nd. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. A reading from Psalm 1. Blessed are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the assembly of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord, and they meditate on his law day and night. Like a tree planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season, with leaves that do not wither, whatever they do, it shall prosper. As for the wicked, it is not so with them. They are like chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked shall not be able to stand in the judgment, nor the sinner in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Let us pray. Christ our wisdom, give us delight in your law, that we may bear fruits of patience and peace in the kingdom of the righteous, for your mercy's sake. Amen. Our Gospel reading today is from Mark chapter 10, verses 17 to 31. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and mother. He said to him, Teacher, I have kept all these since my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said, You lack one thing. Go, sell what you own, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When he heard this, he was shocked and went away, grieving, for he had many possessions. Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were perplexed at these words. But Jesus said to them again, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were greatly astounded and said to one another, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For mortals it is impossible, but not for God. For God, all things are possible. Peter began to say to him, Look, we have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, Truly I tell you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for my sake and for the sake of the good news, who will not receive a hundredfold now in this age, houses, brothers and sisters, mothers and children, and fields with persecutions, and in the age to come, eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last shall be first. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. By the power of the Spirit, and in unity with Christ, trusting always in God's life-giving intent for creation, let us pray. Creating God, we give you thanks for the beauty of the natural world, and we pray for a better relationship between humanity and the rest of your good creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, your Son said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. Grant, we pray, that we may be so filled with this gift that we become people of peace in a world of violence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of love, you call us to follow you each day 
And the more we seek you, the more we find of your truth. Stir our spirits within us, that we may be renewed in our desire for you and faithful in our work, our worship, and our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant your gift of love to our local community, our church, and the cities and towns in which we live, that in all our actions, words, and relationships, we may show our care for one another. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, we pray for all those who are sick in body, mind, and spirit, that they may find healing and wholeness in you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for the clean water that families in Sudan, Yemen, and other conflict-affected countries can access as a result of Presbyterian World Service and Development's water, sanitation, and health projects that help repair wells. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O gracious and holy Father, give us wisdom to perceive you, diligence to seek you, patience to wait for you, eyes to behold you, a heart to meditate upon you, and a life to proclaim you, through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May God, who made both heaven and earth, bless us. Amen.